Plastic clamping knobs. Innovative Components specializes in the manufacturing of plastic clamping knobs for all industries, including lawn and garden, medical, fitness, aerospace, construction, and marine, to name a few. Particularly, we utilize both horizontal and vertical presses and specialize in insert molding, injection molding, and overmolding. Let's review the guide. Knobs are composed of a 15-digit smart part code. All important attributes of the knob are broken up into categories and listed out on the part code guide. Follow the color-coded guide to translate the description into an Innovative Components part number. Located at the bottom of each guide is the layout of the smart part code. Use this to guide you when creating a smart part code. To start, we identify the product code in red, which takes up the very first two spaces of a part code. Knobs will always start with KN. This can be tricky at times as knob detent pins and magnetic selector pins also start with KN. However, most knobs will call out the thread pitch with a coarse or fine C or F in the fourth placeholder, whereas the knob detent pins and magnetic selector pins will call out an X for unthreaded shaft in the fourth placeholder. Pay close attention to space holder number four when deciphering between the two product categories. Next, we move on to the orange section labeled threads or thread pitch. All thread pitch will be listed within two digits in spaces number three and four. In the case of a 5, 16, 18 diameter, the diameter equals 5C in the part number format. Quarter 20 equals 4C in the part number format, and so on and so forth. Next, we move on to the yellow section called stud length. There are four places allocated to this attribute, located in spaces 5, 6, 7, and 8 of the part code. The first digit is a whole number in space number 5. Imagine as if there is a period after the first whole number. Spaces 6, 7, and 8 are saved for any decimal places. If a knob stud length is 4 inches in length, you would see 4, 0, 0, 0 here. If a knob stud is 2.5 inches in length, you would see 2, 5, 0, 0 here. If a knob stud length is a half inch, you would see 0, 5, 0, 0 here. If the knob is a female knob with an internal insert, we enter four dashes here. Next, we move on to the green section called knob style. This section is listed in spaces number 9, 10, and 11 of the part code. In the left-hand column, you will find a knob style designator, then an equal sign, and then a whole number with a decimal. The knob style listed on the left comes from our catalog and is the style number of the knob. The whole number and decimal to the right is the knob diameter. The knob diameter is configured by placing the knob head face down, drawing a circle around it, and taking the diameter of the circle. Please refer to the catalog for more information on knob styles, including the various shapes and sizes we offer. Knob styles are either two or three digits. In cases where there are only two digits, we use a dash in the third placeholder of knob style. Next in blue, or placeholder number 12, is insert description. If the knob is a female and you cannot see through it like a donut, it is called blind. We enter a B here. If the knob is female and is made with a lock nut, enter an L here. A lock nut provides anti-vibration resistance. Think for example a lawnmower. The fasteners on a lawnmower would potentially vibrate loose, therefore we would use lock nuts on a lawnmower. If the knob is a female and it is neither blind nor locking, or the knob is male, we enter a dash here. If the knob has a tall knurled insert, we enter a T here. This means it has more threads than a standard hex nut. If the knob has a male stud protruding, we also enter a dash here. Field number 13 is reserved for knob color or material. We enter the color code here. Black knobs are typically standard. We enter a dash for black. The standard material is polypropylene. If the knob is black polypropylene, we enter a dash here. If the knob is a colored polypropylene, we enter the color code provided on the guide. If the knob is black but uses a special material, we only lend any credit to the plastic types column. If the knob is both colored and has a special material, we enter an X. Typically, an X will be entered into the space articulating that there is something special or custom about this particular part, and everyone should pay special attention to the BOM, print, or description. If X is already taken, use a Y. If Y is already taken, use a Z. And if Z is already taken, start the alphabet over at A, and so on and so forth. In addition, this space holder also provides information when there is a soft tip pellet in the tip of the male fastener. This is not very common. Soft tip pellets provide a buffer between the fastener and the surface the fastener is assembled to. It is considered a non-marring fastener. A non-marring fastener is often used on expensive fixtures or chrome surfaces where you would not want the fastener scratching up the surface. 
If the male knob of the stud happens to have a pellet in the tip, enter a P or Q here. Placeholder number 13 can also be used to articulate that the hub and underbody of the knob is solid. This is not very common. We make knobs with a solid underbody most commonly in food grade applications where we would not want food ingredients left behind to create mold. Next we move on to the fuchsia attribute called insert material. This section is in regards to what type or grade of material the insert is made out of. We allocate one space in space holder number 14 for the material of the insert. Common materials are listed out, but the stock standards and most popular materials are highlighted in bold. If someone calls out steel in a simple term, they are referring to grade 2 steel. Grade 2 steel is the most commonly used steel in fasteners we purchase and use in our knobs. Steel, aka grade 2 steel, aka low carbon steel, becomes a 2 in a part code. Grade 5 becomes a 5 in a part code, and grade 8 becomes an 8 in a part code. Another popular material of fasteners is stainless steel, or 18-8 stainless steel. This translates to a 7 in a part code. Use the guide to translate a material into a single part code digit. If the material required is not listed, we use an X for special, also known as not named. Lastly, we move on to the gray attribute called plating. Plating is a coating of metal used to serve as a rust inhibitor. We reserve one space in space holder number 15 for the plating of the knob insert. Common platings are listed out. Please note, we do not plate stainless steel nor aluminum. In these cases, we use a zero for no plating or plane. The other popular variations are clear zinc, hexavalent, zinc and yellow, also hexavalent, and Rojas zinc, which is trivalent. Rojas zinc is environmentally friendly zinc. Hexavalent zinc is harmful and has a negative impact on our environment and most importantly, our drinking water source. It can be clear or yellow. Most of the fasteners we use are Rojas or trivalent. However, the knob part numbers typically call out a one or two in the part code for zinc, zinc and yellow, and Rojas. In order to see if the insert is Rojas, you have to drill down to the BOM to see if the fastener ends in an R or not. The reason the knobs do not have Rojas in the part number is because Rojas was not popular until well after our business was established. And for simplicity purposes, we decided not to change over thousands of part numbers and rebuild thousands of BOMs, but instead request you simply review the fastener in the BOM. Now that we know how to use the part code guide, let's move on to the practice quiz. Metric knob quiz 1. 1 1.5 inch ball knob. M10 locking insert steel zinc. First we identify the product code. This is a knob, so it's KN. Next we identify the thread pitch. This says M10. We will load in either an M10 or an M0. More appropriately, an M0 would fit here. Then we identify if it's a male with a stud length or a female. This does not say M10 by anything, so this must be a female. So we're going to put four dashes where the stud length goes. Next we move on to the green section for knob style. This says 1.5 inch ball knob. So we find the column with the B's for ball knob and we find the one for 1.5 inches. That translates to a B4. Because we have three placeholders allocated for knob style, we enter a dash in the third placeholder. Next we move on to the insert type. For female only knobs that are blind, locking, or blind and locking, or tall, we would specify the insert style. Ball knobs are always automatically blind. When something is automatically blind, you just enter another dash. Next, we move on to the plastic colors and plastic types. This particular description does not call out any color. It also does not call out any specialty plastic, therefore it must be our standard polypropylene. When it's a standard polypropylene with no color, no nylon pellet, and no special hub, we automatically enter a dash here. Next, we move on to the insert material. This says steel zinc. Steel, also known as low carbon steel or grade two steel, would come out to the number two in a part code. Then we have zinc or clear zinc. In a plastic knob, we're gonna call out a number one for zinc. This part code would read KN M0 dash 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 B4 dash 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 two one. Number two, 2.5 inch four prong M10 by 25 millimeters with an 18.8 stainless steel stud in ABS. First we identify the product code. Because this is a knob, we enter KN. Next we identify the thread pitch. This says M10 by 25 millimeters. M10 would be the thread pitch. So here we would enter an M0. Next we identify the stud length. This particular description does in fact call out a stud length. It says M10 by 25 millimeters. 
25 millimeters would be entered into the four digits for allocated for stud length as 25mm. Next we identify the knob style. This says it's a 2.5 inch four prong knob. So we go to the second column, we see the four P's for four prong, and we find one that's 2.5 inches. The 2.5 inch four prong is a 4P7, so we enter 4P7 into the part code. Next we move on to the insert type. The blue insert type is only in regards to female knobs. Because this is a male, we can enter an automatic dash here. Next we move on to the plastic colors and plastic types. I do not see a color in this description, but I do see ABS. ABS is one of their specialty plastics not very often used. So in this case we would enter an A in the part code. I don't see any nylon pellet or special hub, um, so the A fits just fine. Next we move on to the insert material. This says 18.8 stainless steel stud. Looking at insert materials, I see 18.8 translates to a 7 in the part code. Moving on to plating, we do not plate stainless steel. Therefore, we would enter a 0, which stands for no plating or plane in the part code. This part code would read KN M0 25 MM 4P7 A70. Number 3, 1.375 fluted knob with an M5 by 30 millimeter steel zinc stud. First we identify the product code. This is a knob, so we enter KN. Next we identify the thread pitch. This says M5, so we enter an M5 in the part code. Next we identify if it's female or male. This says M5 by 30 millimeters. The 30 millimeters is the steel stud, so we would enter a 30MM into the part code. Next we identify the knob style. This says 1.375 fluted knob. Fluted knobs start with an F. So we go over to the column with the Fs in it and we find 1.375. I see that an F2 is rounded at 1.38 in diameter. So we enter an F2 in the part code. Remember, we have three placeholders for knob style. So when a knob designator is only two digits, we enter a dash in the third placeholder for knob style. Moving on to the insert type. This attribute is for female only knobs. Because this is a male, we enter an automatic dash. Moving on to plastic colors and plastic types. I do not see any specialty color or any specialty plastic listed in this description. I also do not see anything about a solid hug or any soft tip or nylon tip pellets. Because nothing is called out and it must be our standard polypropylene black knob, we're gonna enter a dash in this placeholder. Moving on to insert material. I see steel zinc stud, steel, also known as low carbon steel or grade two steel, is called out as a two in the part coding system. Next we move on to plating or color of insert. This says zinc. If it says zinc all by itself, it must be clear zinc. Zinc translates to a one in the part code system. This part number would be KN-M530-MMF2-21. Please continue and complete four through 10.